Good morning, everyone. This is Rocco coming at you with my first 11.3.3 drive. Um, we are at the edge or tail end of some rain this morning, and we are just doing our normal route to see if there's any changes. I want to apologize for everyone for giving false hope that I thought 11.3.2 was going to be the wide release. Oh, come on. Okay, we're almost there. It wants, it wants to enable it. It wants to do it. Yeah, it, it's. Come on, almost there. It's like I wish it would just like. Okay, so, so someone mentioned in the comments this has to do with some ca camera calibration. That has never happened before until version 11 it was the first version to ever do this. If it's ever gonna load, bring it up in the. Auto stereo temporary unavailable. What this alert means? Yeah, it just gets generic reasoning. It doesn't mean it's calibrating the cameras or anything. Do yeah. See, it's it's weird. You have to like poor GPS accuracy. Well, for once, like the the cursor is not on the screen. Um, Let's see if it's going to correctly get on the highway. We have a car coming in front of us. Handles that good, slow down a little bit to make room behind this car. And as always, funny enough, if you look here, it's always, the, the, the lines are more accurate when it's roads are wet. I don't know why. It needs to be accelerating at this point. I'm gonna let it do its thing and see what happens. Let's see it here. Look at this person behind me. Hey, it turned the blinker on this time. It fixed that. That being said, it still waits to the very end. <laughs> it still waits to the very end to get onto the highway. Um, we obviously have a couple more merges to try out to see if that's consistent. And obviously watch other videos um, from everyone else to see if how consistent that might be. Um, obviously, it's raining pretty good. You know, this is like a pretty standard go out of like one out of five, maybe a two or three of rain hardness. So it says poor weather detected. Also, that van smells. Let's go clear this out. Um, and you can see the rear camera is already um, occluded word I'm looking for, but your two repeater cameras stay clear almost all the time in weather like this. Which, I think the reality is you really don't need this camera to be clear for the car to drive. Like, this can see, like, except for the little sliver in the middle, this can see all around you. And all the car has to do, like, if it really necessary, is just don't make any unnecessary lane changes when it's raining. So all it has to do is just like if it's raining hard enough like this to where it can't see well behind, don't make a lane change. Unless it has to for an exit. That's the only time um, it should make a lane change. It's not like it's, it's not like it needs to when it rains. And so that's one thing they can they can program in these you know safety features. Um, just to make the car more conservative, like if it rains, just don't change lanes. If the person isn't paying attention. Don't change lanes. Now, now, actually, I want to mention that. Uh, there's a debate, I think, uh, you say you watched the video, I don't remember your name on Twitter, but um, we were agreeing and disagreeing at the same time. Um, so, what I'm getting at is we had, I had, if you watched my Crazy Hill test, I described how if I start looking at the screen for an extended period of time, then the car should, uh, uh, go into like a more conservative mode. Basically, what I'm saying is if I start looking at the screen and the car clearly knows I'm not paying attention to the road based on the camera up here, then it needs to not, not change lanes. It needs to start slowing down to the speed limit. Uh, and then it needs to also, yeah, and obviously not pass people. It needs to start doing maneuvers that would be you know considered safe and also annoy the driver. Like, if I want to go 
say 10 over the speed limit because uh, I'm on a road trip uh, and the car starts slowing down to the speed limit every time I'm not paying attention to the road that's going to incentivize me to pay attention to the road uh, regardless there are going to be users that do not pay attention and see I think that's what's happening right now okay, normally I would want to pass this truck I'm going to make it past this it, I think because it's raining, it says poor weather detected, it's not going to change lanes. Which is good. That's what it should be doing. Until the car is absurdly confident, it should do that. And also, we are given massive room for this truck, which is great. I love that about version 11. My mom's going to love that feature. Because we are taking a road trip up to Michigan in May. And she absolutely hated how close it stayed to semi-trucks. And so she's gonna love that. It gives like even more room than she would give, actually. Um, so that's great. Also, it needs to get over. So I'm gonna go ahead and go get back over. There's a BMW behind me that almost tried to pass me uh, on the right. And here you can see the clearing up of the rain. gonna get off the exit here so uh, I guess I'll stay behind this truck right here okay so it's already turned on the blinker so that's appropriate and it, but it's slowing down on the highway again and maybe oh that's because my speed was at the, okay well actually unless it changed it to 60 no it, it did change it to 60 um, it should stay the speed limit until as soon as it starts crossing the line, then it needs to start slowing down, unless the on-ramp is really uh, short. I'm sorry, off-ramp is really short. So I decided also to get in the right lane here, which is... Um, it's like an interesting behavior, how it just changes the... It changes its opinion every time you come off this ramp. It's like, okay, we do it left lane or right lane. I think maybe it's actually looking really far ahead based on where I'm going. Um, now, maybe not. That could just be a coincidence. So if you look at this light up ahead, it's red already. For me, I would be slowing down already. Like, and you can tell it can see the light as soon as it went around that bend. But it needs to slow down sooner, in my opinion. Because I know the light's not going to change. Right? I could have been going 10 mile an hour quicker right here if I had slowed down sooner and did not have not need to reaccelerate. It's just... I, I'm being extra picky. I want to be clear. I'm being really picky. Like, it did a really good job. But I'm being picky because that's how I would drive. Because I drive super efficiently to where I try and time the light. I want to be going as fast as possible when I hit hit the light when it turns green, so I, I don't have to either wait, I don't have to reaccelerate or wait on someone else. This light is also one we're timing. Okay, let's see if it's going to change the the blinker on. Yeah, and use to turn the blinker on there. Let's see if we're not going to catch up to this car before it slows down. We need to see how it does going fast over the railroad track here. And it's slowing down because of this car slowing down. Not because of the railroad track. But, I mean, that's... It could go a little bit faster. It could go at 25 over that. But it, it did it great, but only, I think, because it's a car in front of us. We're, unfortunately, we never ha had the opportunity to test it a little bit faster about the car in front of us. This car also either doesn't know where they're going or it is, it's going way too slow around these curves. Like last weekend, it, was, it wasn't raining, but it just did so well. It is so smooth going around these curves. That's why I decided, it's like, I was so excited that everyone would have wide release with 3.2. I mean, it's the same as 3.1. Um, I think they're just fixing some probably graphical bugs and a couple other minor tweaks. But this is just as good. Uh, it's just, it's so good. It 
does seem to be giving a little bit more room behind cars in front of me. Like, a little bit more space. I don't know if that's just me on this particular drive, maybe because it's rainy. Maybe it knows it's raining and it says, hey, we're gonna give a little bit more space. I'm not sure, it, it, it seems that way, at least, at least when you come to a stop, it's a little bit more space. See how it does right here, yep, and it drops the speed right back down. I don't like going that, no one does. So we're gonna, I'll be back to 30 right here and see how it does at this last turn. Okay, Let's see how it does. Should be a nice smooth turn. A little bit slow. Still a little bit timid right here and there's a car behind me. Because mo most humans would just kind of sweep through that turn. And it's, it's, smooth, it's smooth, but just timid. It's really timid. So yeah, everyone, zero disengagements. And the rain. That, that's fantastic. Um, we're going to see how it does. It's not going to be raining the rest of the day. This is the very end of this rainstorm here. And we're going to see how it does. I mean, I don't see any issues with it so far. So I'm excited that everyone will have it. Like Once you guys have the update, come back to this video. And let me know in the comments how what you think of it. And I'd be excited to hear your thoughts. Because this has been really great for me so far. And I really hope um, it's as great for you. Again, as always, put your comments down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, everyone. Bye.